My name is Jen Verrill, and today we're here at Verrill Farm, and I'm going to show you how to make gingerbread dough that we use for holiday gingerbread houses, and also you can use them for gingerbread um, gingerbread men. So first, we have melted shortening, which you can melt in the microwave, or you can melt in a pan on the stove, if you like. Add that to the mixer, and then add the sugar molasses, and then you can add the eggs and just mix that until it's incorporated a little bit. And while that's mixing, I'm going to take the baking soda and the salt and just add it to the flour along with all the spices. It's ginger, cloves, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Now we just take a whisk and whisk it all together. And then I just stop this once and scrape it down. Make sure there's nothing stuck to the bottom. And that looks good. So now you can add all the flour. Just do it on low speed so it doesn't go all over. And then just keep mixing that until all the flour is incorporated. And that's good. So it's all, all incorporated together, so now I'm going to just put it in the plastic and, um, and wrap it up. So you can just flatten it down in your plastic. And then you can just chill it like that. Okay, so now the dough has been thoroughly chilled and it's ready to roll out. So um, you can use this for the houses or men, like we said before, but this house that I do is relatively small because um, we do workshops for children, and this is, the small size is really good for kids because they can, they can finish it relatively quickly. So I'm just going to put a little flour down the table because it is a little bit sticky, and then take your rolling pin and just start rolling. And I always make sure I keep turning the dough so it's not sticking. And you don't want it sticking to the rolling pin either, so I keep putting a little bit on top. It's a good workout. So just keep turning it and rolling it. I'm going to roll it about a quarter of an inch thick. You don't want it to be too thin because then the house can the pieces can break more easily. So I think that looks good. So you have, this is a roof, the sides and the end. So you need two of each shape. You see what it looks like? That looks good. Just put it down here. And if your dough gets too warm, sometimes the pieces don't, they can be kind of wavy and not straight on the side, and then you have a problem putting them together. They need to be straight. So we're going to do four of these. And then we do four of the roof. And I try to go as close together as you can so you don't waste the dough. And then four of the ends. If it does stick, like it's sticking a little bit, just take your scraper and loosen it a little bit. That's good. And we need this one. And then if you have extra dough left over, you can roll out gingerbread men, or you can do even other shapes for your house to decorate, like a little trees or a snowman. 
So now I'm just going to take this and wrap it up and put it back for next time. Now it's all set to bake in, I would bake it at 325 for about 12 to 14 minutes. It should be um, starting to get kind of a little bit brown or on the outside, darker colored. It's, it's better to bake it a little bit longer if you're unsure than to under bake it so the pieces are nice and firm. So here they are, they're out of the oven and they're all ready to assemble into a gingerbread house or you can just eat them.